welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off by getting ready. I'm going to be going to a seafood crab boil place. I don't even know what's going on, guys. First thing I'm doing is bronzing up my face. I think this place is called Surf and Crab, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a seafood boil place. Fun fact, I actually do not like seafood at all. I hate seafood. I'm using these new e.l.f. dew drops. These work amazing. I cannot stop using them. I guess it's gonna be a fun experience. They obviously have like other food there. I do really want to try like the potato in the juice, if that makes any sense. I was actually told to be ready by five and it's currently three o'clock right now. So I was just chilling, relaxing, and then they texted me. They're like, hey, are you ready? I'm like, okay, girl. So now we gotta rush. Like, I don't know why I'm always rushing and I don't know why people always ask if they can do it at an earlier time than the set time. Like, they stick to the schedule. I think I added a little bit too much bronze. So I'm just trying to really like blend it in. I really don't want to put on like foundation or anything. So this is why I'm, you know, doing this. We're gonna blend it out on the neck area because I learned with these drops, you have to be super careful of where you place them and wherever you're gonna put them. You need to basically like blend it out. I've been seeing so many people comment that I look like Selena Gomez. First of all, an honor, queen. Second of all, I just like, I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe like the only thing I see is maybe the nose and the eyebrows. I don't see any other features. I don't know. Maybe it's because I have dark eyebrows. What are you guys saying? What are you saying that I'm not? I'm all ready and now it is time to go and eat. I am so excited. Good morning. It is the next day. I'm in the same sweater. I just got done shopping at Target. Just filming a self-care shopping at Target video. It should be up by the time you're watching this. Go watch it. If you haven't already, it turned out to be super good. But I'm picking up some breakfast right now. Water burger is so good. Thank you. I've literally been on my laptop all day and I'm just so tired and I'm drained. Like I've been staring at a screen for nonstop. I kid you not, like almost five hours. I feel like my brain is just like melting off and I'm losing brain cells every single minute that I talk. I'm gonna make myself a coffee because I need the energy. I need it so bad. I need caffeine. I'm craving it. I just need a coffee and then everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> just brewed two shots of espresso. I recently found out in order to make a latte, that's what you need is two shots of espresso. The whole time I was literally doing just one and no wonder my coffee always just didn't have that strong coffee taste. Now I'm gonna add syrups, milk, and then my ice. I'm gonna try it. I definitely do taste the two shots of espresso now versus the one because it does taste more like coffee. This actually tastes really good. Throwback to when I bought this big container of sugar-free caramel. I have been loving it and using it in every single one of my coffee. It's so bomb. It's gonna change your coffee. If you don't like sugary coffees or you do like sugary coffees and you don't want the sugar, no, it's a big bottle, but trust, it is so worth it. Guys, the way that this coffee is actually so freaking gas, I'm gonna do some self-care. I just feel like after a long day of filming and editing, self-care is so essential in my routine. I've never tried these before, actually. I think they're supposed to go like that. This does not look like eye patches. Ooh, this actually feels super nice. This is supposed to brighten your skin and it's gonna help reduce wrinkles. Okay, Miss Anti-Aging. I posted two YouTube videos in under 24 hours. Please drop a like on this video right now because I promise you, I'm the only one doing this. I'm filming, editing, coming up with ideas, obviously as I should. What, like it's hard? It's literally so crazy and I just feel, I don't even know what to feel. I don't even know what to comprehend right now. We are at Dutch Bros right now. And I didn't even update you guys. Okay, so in a few vlogs back, I did a study vlog, right? I was preparing for my nail test. I recently took it um, a few days ago and I ended up passing, yay. I was like, so now I need to move on to the next steps, which is actually taking the physical practical exam. But I do need to buy the supplies and everything because you have to buy everything yourself. How are you feeling today? Very tired. Guys, it is currently 9.05. And when I tell you my boyfriend does not wake up this early, literally have to wake up at 7 o'clock. Yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody commented the other day and they were like, who's he? They were talking about you. I was like, my son. <laughs> 
She don't like it when she gets told stuff, but she likes to tell people stuff. First of all, I don't tell anyone stuff. I only tell him stuff. Thank you very much, Miss Mama. Thank you. <laughs> I got a sugar-free golden eagle with soft top and lined the cup with extra sugar-free um, sauce. It's so good. Do not knock it until you try it. My chocolate chai. Guys, we always get the same freaking thing. And there's always that one duo that's like the sipper, which is me. I take my time on my drinks. And by the time we get to his apartment, it's already going to be halfway. I'm not joking. I'm not lying. <laughs> We picked up some tacos, go to his apartment, watch The Flash. I've been obsessing over. This is your reminder that life is good. <laughs> I'm making jalapeno bummers. Don't mind the background and don't mind the kitchen. It's not aesthetic okay i live in a hispanic mexican household he seeded all of the jalapenos and then the next step is to put philadelphia cream cheese after that we're going to wrap it in this bacon i'm making this for my mom because she has been telling me to make them forever i just decided why not right now since i'm not doing anything I'm so excited. I'm gonna go and get an acai bowl. It is such a hot summer and sunny day and this is going to be so cooling and like I'm just so excited. Got an acai bowl, granola, coconut flakes, yogurt chips, cheesecake bites, strawberry, and an almond joy. You want to mix it? I'm getting this Olipop. It's the cream soda. Ew, my hair. He's gonna get the naked rainbow machine. Hi guys, it's been a while later. I'm currently on my way to my workout classes. I was at a red light, but now I have both hands on my wheel. Just really, you know, kind of easy on myself. Yesterday and the day before that, also celebrating the fact that I passed my nail ridden exam. I was so excited because this test, whew, a lot of people say that the first test is way harder than the second. I don't know what I'm really going on a rant about. I'm basically just saying I feel like I need to take care of myself more really take care of our mental health and our physical health obviously as a whole me saying this even though I literally wanted to get baconator fries before my workout is crazy I feel like another reason why I do not have a strict diet or a strict workout plan is because I'm the type of person that if I put myself on something like a plan or something I do not want to fail I am not the type of person that likes failing so when I told myself I'm going to post every day on YouTube and when I missed one day I hated it like I dreaded it. I feel like it's healthier for me to just let myself go with the flow, give myself boundaries. Basically, all I'm saying is just listen to your mind. Do I want to go and work out? No, but I'm forcing myself to go and get this workout in because I need it. Overall, I feel like exercise is just such an important factor that like you need in your life. You just want to feel better overall. That's definitely something that has improved, even though my body has not changed at all while working out. It probably has. I probably just don't notice. Is I feel so good, guys. Like I feel really good. I genuinely can say I feel really good chest based off of working out that was it for my little rent and now i'm gonna get off go to my workout have a good one sweat my butt off this lighting is not good but i just finished my workout and if there's one piece of advice that i can give to you to motivate you to get your workout in to go get your physical movement is get up and go do it put all of your excuses to the side because the more you complain about it the more time you're taking away from it so if you're complaining and you're in bed right now you want to go work out but you're just like i'm so tired but you've given yourself enough rest days or maybe you haven't really like done anything all day maybe you're just in a slump that's totally fine that's totally normal the mental clarity that i get from working out alone it's just it's such a stress reliever it clears my mind it's my little word of advice to any of you that are struggling to go get your workout in or maybe it's not even working out maybe it's just driving to the gym you're just dreading it i promise you just put on that fire playlist i literally have a gym playlist in my phone for whenever i work out at my house and it's called gym baby with a little emojis my boyfriend always makes fun of me because it's cringe but if it pushes me to go work out and better myself at the end that's really all that matters need to clean my room tidy it up it has been in the same state for like a few days so before i eat i'm gonna do that real quick
flavor of Olipop is so good. It's like hands down my favorite. Finished kind of like tidying and organizing up my room. I don't want to get in the habit of not picking up after myself. Before I actually did like this whole Pinterest room transformation, I was so messy. My room was super messy and I always thought it was okay to be messy because I was like, okay, as long as I'm not dirty, hygienic wise, then it's fine. It just doesn't seem right. I have to take better care of my space because I'm in here most of the time and I kid you not guys, the moment I started taking care of my room, cleaning it more often, I started really enjoying being in here. It seemed like there was more space so it was easier to breathe in here. If you're looking for a sign to go clean your room or just, you know, spend 10 to 15 minutes just tidying up, it doesn't have to be a full deep clean, then that is your sign. We got a bacon wrapped corn. So my mom made some type of steak. I don't know what kind it is but it's pretty big. And then we have half of a potato with butter and a half slice of cheese. This potato looks very sad. Also guys, I've been wanting to watch Inside Out too, and I'm just so sad that I cannot watch it. I mean, I can at the movies, but I feel like that's just a little bit too out of my price point right now, and I'm trying to look on like <laughs> Soap Today and stuff like that, where you can watch movies for free. Last time I checked, it wasn't on there. just finished eating and I forgot to take my vitamins today. I'm taking these hair, skin, and nails gummies by Nature's Bounty. This has two times the amount of like normal biotin. I'm also taking these fish oil plus omega-3 vitamins which I feel like next time whenever I buy some I'm gonna get them in gummy form because I feel like these big pills are just too big to swallow. I'm honestly feeling super tired. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end off this vlog. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below the white heart emoji. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video do not forget to like subscribe comment and don't forget to subscribe to my asmr channel link will be in the description box down below bye guys